Welcome to a journey of cosmic proportions where we explore the grandeur and mystery of the universe. Today our subject is the biggest stars in the universe. In a universe teeming with stars, some truly stand out for their sheer size. These celestial giants, known as supermassive stars, dwarf our sun by thousands of times in mass. Their discovery, made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, has opened up new frontiers in our understanding of the cosmos. These massive stars are located in the galaxy GNZ 11, an unfathomable 13 billion light years away. Today we'll delve into the fascinating world of these supermassive stars, discussing their discovery, their estimated mass, and the pivotal role played by the James Webb Space Telescope in uncovering their existence. So buckle up as we embark on this astronomical adventure. Our cosmic journey begins with the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology. This incredible piece of machinery is far more than a simple telescope. It's our gateway to the cosmos, a tool of discovery that allows us to peer into the very fabric of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, is a large space-based observatory. It's packed with cutting-edge technology and instruments that allow it to capture light from the farthest reaches of the universe. In essence, it's like a time machine that allows us to see back in time to the very first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. But the JWST is not just about observing distant galaxies, it's also instrumental in the search for exoplanets and the study of the formation of stars and planetary systems. And speaking of stars, one of its most significant achievements has been the detection of supermassive stars, stars that are thousands of times larger than our sun. These supermassive stars were detected in globular clusters, densely packed groups of stars that are some of the oldest known objects in the universe. The JWST's powerful instruments were able to pick up the chemical signatures of these stars, an unprecedented feat that opens up new avenues of research. The role of the James Webb Space Telescope in these discoveries is crucial. Its ability to detect faint light from distant objects and its suite of advanced instruments makes it the perfect tool for such investigations. It's like having a super-powered magnifying glass that allows us to see the smallest details of the universe, no matter how far away they might be. Thanks to this remarkable telescope, we are now able to unveil the secrets of the universe like never before. Imagine a star 5,000 to 10,000 times larger than our sun. That's what we call a supermassive star. As we delve into this fascinating subject, let's paint a picture of these cosmic behemoths. Supermassive stars, as their name implies, are stars of extraordinary mass and size. To give you a sense of their scale, our Sun, a relatively average-sized star, could fit into a supermassive star thousands of times over. These aren't your everyday stars, they're stellar titans, the celestial heavyweights of the universe. But what makes these stars so massive? It's all about their mass. A star's mass is directly related to its size, and these supermassive stars are estimated to have a mass between 5,000 and 10,000 times that of our sun. That's a whole lot of stellar material. These stars are not just larger, but also much different from other stars. They're not simply scaled up versions of smaller stars. Their immense size and mass cause them to behave differently, and they possess unique properties and characteristics. For instance, their immense gravitational pull affects the space around them, bending light and distorting time. Their life cycles are also vastly different from those of smaller stars. Instead of burning for billions of years like our sun, supermassive stars live fast and die young, often in dramatic supernova explosions that outshine entire galaxies. And yet, despite their size and power, these celestial giants are elusive. They're found in the farthest corners of the universe, hidden away in globular clusters, densely packed groups of stars. These clusters are like cosmic nurseries, cradling these stellar giants in their celestial embrace. These celestial giants are truly a wonder of the universe. But how do these enormous stars come into existence? Let's unravel the mystery. The formation of supermassive stars, those with an astonishing mass of 5,000 to 10,000 times that of our sun, is a fascinating process. To understand it, we need to venture into the dense regions of space known as globular clusters. These are tightly packed groups of stars, a bustling cosmic metropolis where interactions between stars are frequent. Now imagine stars colliding with each other, not just once, but multiple times. 
These successive collisions, occurring over millions of years, result in the birth of a supermassive star. It's a bit like rolling a snowball down a hill. As it picks up more snow, it grows bigger and bigger. Similarly, each collision adds more mass to the star, making it grow larger and larger until it becomes a supermassive star. But these supermassive stars are not just colossal in size, they also have a significant impact on their cosmic neighborhood. They emit what scientists call chemical pollution. Now, don't think of this pollution as something harmful. Instead, it's more like a cosmic feast for younger, forming stars. This chemical smorgasbord provides a greater variety of elements to these baby stars, influencing their composition and, in turn, their properties. So supermassive stars are not just the behemoths of the cosmic world. They are also the nurturers, feeding young stars and enriching the chemical diversity of the universe. They play a pivotal role in shaping the universe and contributing to its complexity. So these supermassive stars are not only giants in size, but also play a key role in shaping the universe. The discovery of these supermassive stars was made in a galaxy far, far away. Welcome to the galaxy GNZ 11. This isn't a galaxy next door, not by a long shot. GNZ 11 is over 13 billion light years away, nestled in the farthest reaches of the known universe. It's a place of cosmic wonder, where the extraordinary becomes the everyday. And it's here that the James Webb Space Telescope has been peering into the deep, dark abyss to unravel the mysteries of the universe's biggest stars. Now, you might be wondering, how do we know these supermassive stars are out there? Well, it all comes down to chemistry, specifically the presence of nitrogen. Nitrogen is a common element in the universe, but its presence in globular clusters, these densely packed groups of stars, suggests something out of the ordinary. You see, nitrogen is a telltale sign of chemical processes happening in supermassive stars. When these colossal stars go through their life cycle, they shoot out this chemical pollution, a cocktail of elements including nitrogen. This cosmic confetti feeds young forming stars, giving them a greater variety of chemicals and hinting at the existence of a supermassive star in the neighborhood. The nitrogen detected by the Webb telescope in the galaxy GNZ 11 is a critical clue, a chemical breadcrumb trail leading us to the discovery of these supermassive stars. It's like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack, but this needle is a star thousands of times the size of our sun. And so we find ourselves staring into the heart of a distant galaxy, witnessing the awe-inspiring spectacle of the universe's biggest stars. A spectacle brought to light by the power of chemistry, the precision of modern telescopes, and the relentless curiosity of human beings. This discovery opens up a new chapter in our understanding of the universe and its celestial bodies. A chapter filled with supermassive stars, cosmic mysteries, and a galaxy 13 billion light years away. And there we have it, an epic journey among the biggest stars in the universe. We delved into the awe-inspiring work of the James Webb Space Telescope and its groundbreaking discovery. The first chemical signs of supermassive stars. These celestial giants with their mass dwarfing our sun by 5,000 to 10,000 times are unlike anything we've observed before. We've also explored how these supermassive stars come into existence. It's a thrilling process involving successive collisions in densely packed globular clusters. And these clusters aren't just celestial traffic jams, they're cosmic factories churning out stars and spewing chemical pollution that nurtures newborn stars, enhancing their chemical variety. This discovery in the far-off galaxy GNZ 11, over 13 billion light-years away, has given us a sneak peek into the universe's grand scale. It's a testament to the wonders that await us in the cosmic ocean. If you have enjoyed this astronomical adventure and want to explore more wonders of the universe, please subscribe for more videos. Until our next cosmic journey, keep looking up!